was announced that a man named Skip Bayless has been Help me out. Skip, I need you to parting you. ways with the network. And of course, it was framed as, well, he's parting ways with the network. I want you to listen to this for a minute. Y'all don't know Skip Bayless. This is the voice that we've been hearing for years. This is just straight hate by a guy who's jealous that he's... He is best known for his debates on ESPN. He then became known with Stephen A. Smith and became known as his debates with, for his debates with uh, 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 Shannon Sharp, who you see here. And Skip has been known for being a LeBron hater. He's been known for being acerbic. He's been known for being uh, uh, someone who fights for his, uh, his position. Uh, he's had some classic viral drag, knockdown drag outs with Shannon Sharp now, but certainly with Jalen Rose, uh, with, um, with with other players uh, like Richard Sherman, who now works with him. And at the end of the day, Skip Bayless put FS1 on his back. He left ESPN. He goes to FS1, which is then called Fox Sports 1. They try to take the Fox out so you don't feel political about it. And Skip Bayless becomes the face and voice of, of, uh, of FS1. He goes there signs a deal that's worth eight million dollars a year he, he snags shannon sharp they have this great show it's highly rated develops for i think seven years or so they a long time he and shannon eventually fell out shannon didn't want to work with him anymore because skip be out of pocket had shannon taking his glasses off and then shannon went over to espn and obviously his club shay shay he's he's a media rock star right now and skip bayless retooled and Skip decided to have a show that with Paul Pierce and Richard Jefferson, and he, you know, he brought on Rachel Nichols from formerly from ESPN. He brought on a bunch of people to make a new format work. But it didn't work. The ratings are ass. The ratings absolutely suck. And people said, well, what are they going to do? They're going to retool, bring in more people to help them? Well, they just announced that they're parting ways. Parting ways suggests that they both came together and said, you know what? We're done. Or it was a natural digression. That ain't what happened, y'all. My sources are telling me that the network had enough of Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless scared away shannon sharp he chased away shannon sharp skip bayless can't work with other people well i've seen uh, people like jenny the the uh the former uh moderator the woman who's a moderator for him and shannon i've heard her say things about not being happy there i've talked to many people at espn who hated working with skip bayless so skip bayless is chasing people away. and you can chase all the people the way you want if you got high ratings you can be the world's biggest asshole if you get high ratings but the moment your ratings drop then it matters it's the same thing in basketball you could be a terrible person. You could be a terrible teammate. You could not show up to practice. But wait till you lose that first step. Wait till you can't play at a high level anymore. Now, all of a sudden, you cut. And Skip Bayless is now at a moment where the ratings don't justify his actions, his behavior. Skip is a consummate professional. He works hard. He prepares hard. He trains hard. He knows his stuff. But there's been enough here. The network is basically letting him go. They, they, what I understand that they're going to even dump the name undisputed. They're going to start all over clean, clean house. Why? Because they need to protect Tom Brady, who's coming over there with a gajillion dollar contract. Why? Because they need to make sure that uh, their football product is protected and they want to have the best people promoting that in the morning. And his show ain't the best promoter anymore. And by the way, it's not totally Skip Bayless's fault. He lost a good lead in. It doesn't work anymore. But why am I bringing all this up? Because the era of one-on-one -on -one debate sports is over. This is not just about Skip Bayless. This is about a firing of, of an approach. What we, what we saw was sports talk of people reporting the news straight. Then we saw a sports approach of crossfire, just like we saw on cable news politically, where people go back and forth fighting about it. 
and people loved it. They loved it when it was Skip and, and, Shan- and Stephen A. But those are extraordinary talents. Then they, lo- they even loved it when it was Skip and Shannon because those are extraordinary talents. But now people are tired of that. They don't want to watch two guys, one of whom played it and one who didn't, or two guys who did, or two guys who didn't. Whatever the whatever the orientation is, people don't want that anymore. They're tired of it. It's trite. It's boring. People literally take positions they don't believe in just to have something to argue about. And, and sitting there, and what FS1 became was people sitting around debating about LeBron James all day, every day. And people don't want that anymore. People also don't want people like Skip Bayless who treat athletes like they're not people, who say that somebody should get back on the field after they have a major injury or, 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 or make an inhumane comment about it. People who, who, who call people garbage or, or don't call people by the name they mama gave them. People are tired of that. And now the athletes have their own space. Athletes have their own podcasts. They have their own YouTube shows. They have their own uh, uh, platforms to speak. They don't need the Skip Baylesses of the world. And that's a good thing. So what's next for Skip Bayless? I don't think anybody else takes him. I mean, maybe ESPN snags him up, but I don't think so. I think Skip Bayless is going to focus on his own platform, his own YouTubes, his own podcasts. And I'm not sure that that platform is going to work for him anymore because there's too many people more interesting, more talented, and more in line with that platform and so i think you're going to see an end you've seen an end to the skip bayless era and i think that you just might have seen an end to skip bayless period as a public figure i don't wish him bad luck i don't know skip bayless i have no opinion on skip bayless i enjoy watching skip bayless with shannon sharp um but i absolutely have no desire to watch it without shannon sharp and I think that's something he didn't under he didn't uh, understand or appreciate that he wasn't carrying Shannon. Shannon was carrying him for a long time. So, Skip Bayless, I'm not going to lose any sleep over this, brother, but I think you're out of here. <laughs>